Hello my pupilos and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. Today, after a long time, we'll continue with the verb lesson series. So far, we have learned the easy part, which is the regular verbs. Because, as you remember, in Spanish, as in many languages, we have two types of verbs, the regular and the irregular verbs. And if you remember, we have also seen some of the most important irregular verbs, the verb ser, estar, haber, tener. Now, for this lesson, I would like to make an introduction for the other irregular verbs. Because, unfortunately, I have to say that we have many of them. And, as I have told you, we have to learn many of them by heart. Oh my god, I have to confess you guys that I hate saying that. But, as you are my pupilos and I really appreciate you so much, I will give you a classification of the irregular verbs in this lesson. So it gets easier for you to understand. I must warn you that we might find many verbs that don't fit with this classification, but at least it would help you to understand some of the rules of the irregular verbs. We might classify the majority of the irregular verbs into 12 groups. In this video, we will learn about the six first groups and I will make another video to explain the other. Dicho esto, empecemos. Group number one. In this group, the vowel E on the penultimate syllable changes to EE on the present simple. This doesn't apply for the first and the second person in the plural form. Let's see an example. The verb comenzar, to begin. So, the penultimate syllable for this verb is men. So instead of saying yo comienzo, we say yo comienzo. Let's see the full conjugation in the present simple. Yo comienzo. Tú comienzas. Él, ella comienza. Nosotros comenzamos. Vosotros comenzáis. Ellos, ustedes comienzan. As you see, the verbs stem on the first and second person on the plural form don't suffer any variation. Now, let's see an example with an ER termination verb. Encender, to turn on. Yo enciendo. Tú enciendes. Él, ella enciende. Nosotros encendemos. Vosotros encendéis. Ustedes, ellos, ellas encienden. The same rule will apply for the present simple of the subjunctive mode. Do you remember about the Spanish verbs mode? Yes, pupilos. I know we haven't seen this mode yet, but let's look a little forward. Let's see the conjugation of the verb comenzar. Yo comience. Tú comiences. Él comience. Nosotros comencemos. Vosotros comencéis. Ellos comiencen. As you see, the stem changing applies again just for the singular form and the third person on the plural form. The last verbal time to apply is the imperative mode. So, as you see, this variation is for the present simple for the three modes, indicative, subjunctive, and imperative. Let's see the conjugation of the verb comenzar in the imperative mode. Comienza. Comience. Comencemos. Comenzad. Comiencen. Another examples of these groups, alentar, to encourage or to cheer, encerrar, to enclose, acertar, to guess, negar, to deny, extender, to extend, defender, to defend. I will put a longer list of verbs on the description below. Group number two. In this group, the vowel O on the penultimate syllable changes to UE. Let's see an example. Verb volar, to fly. Yo vuelo. Tú vuelas. Él vuela. Nosotros volamos. Vosotros voláis. Ellos, ustedes, vuelan. Look at the vowel on the penultimate syllable that changes from O to UE. This is a similar case to the first group. Now, Let's see an example with the ER termination. Volver, to come back. Yo vuelvo. Tú vuelves. Él vuelve. Nosotros volvemos. Vosotros volvéis. Ellos, ustedes, vuelven. As you see, the first and second person for the plural form remains with the same stem again. 
Now, a good news for you. This also applies for the present simple on the subjunctive and imperative mode. So, it's going to be easier to memorize the rules of these groups as they apply for the same conjugations as the first group. Let's see the present simple of the subjunctive mode of the verb volver. Yo vuelva. Tú vuelvas. Él vuelva. Nosotros volvamos. Vosotros volváis. Ellos vuelvan. Now, the imperative mode. Vuelve. Vuelva. Volvamos. Volved. Vuelvan. Another verse from this group. Apostar. To bet. Costar. To cost. Rogar. To beg. Soltar. To drop. Sonar. To sound. Again, I will put a longer list of verbs of this group in the description below. Y bueno, mis queridos pupilos, esto es todo por hoy. Don't forget that I will make the second part of this video. If you have any question, opinion, or recommendation, please go ahead and leave your comment below. And if you like this video, thumb up and subscribe. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima.